Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for September 13th, 2016. So, we're heading towards the last lunar eclipse that's going to be here on uh, September 16th in about 8 p.m. Central European time and it's going to be a powerful eclipse and it's going to end this eclipse season. If you want to know more about that, I've talked about it in the special report I've issued for the month of September. So you can refer to that video. Um, the moon in Aquarius today. Sextiling Saturn can really help us apply new ideas into old structures. can help us bring innovative concepts into the systems of old. It's a good day. Uh, for us to tackle problems and issues in our work environment, with our career environment, and really bring um, think, thinking outside the box and bringing uh, new concepts, new ideas, and new ways of progressing and building things. There is also a square to Sirius and a square to Juno later on, which means this is an extra sensitive day with long-term relationships, and these could be long-term relationships that are not only uh, um, personal ones, not only love relationships, but also friendships or even relationships in your work environment. So just be extra kind today to sweeten uh, the, this aspect in the sky, these aspects in the sky. This, the sun is still squaring Mars, which means this is a time to be careful from accidents and fights, but it also opposes Chiron. This is a time that we can go through a lot of healing and a lot of cleansing and really be in touch with our own pain and, and, and that could be connected to the things that we create and do in life. And even if it doesn't, all our emotional body is going through a lot of cleansing and healing. And this could be connected to children, this could be connected to fathers, it's the sun, and this could be connected to our creativity, to what we do, to what we love. So this could come through, uh, uh, through your dreams, this could come during the daytime, but we have to understand, we have to acknowledge that our emotional body is going through a lot of cleansing work and it takes its energy and it takes its time and we need to give it its place. Mercury is still in Kazemi, which means that our thoughts, our actions and our words and the way we navigate through life all these aspects are heightened. So this is a great time, even though that Mercury is in retrograde, to keep on thinking, to keep on planning, to keep on progressing ahead in your life and charting those points on your map. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. And wherever you are on the globe, I'll be holding a, cleaning, a cleansing and healing meditation circle at the time of the eclipse. And you're welcome to join me from wherever you are for empowerment, from releasing, for, for empowerment, for releasing from fears and for healing for yourself and for the planet. Thank you and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.